You're confident they'll be made whole, Governor? I'm confident they will be made whole. Governor Andy Bashir should try telling that to Amy Seabee and thousands of people like her. I, I have no faith I'm going to get my money at this point after after this after this long. Seabee says she's owed thousands of dollars from Kentucky's unemployment system. Approximately $5,000 is owed to me, and that is nothing to sneeze at. Seabee filed a claim to get pandemic-related assistance last spring. I'm in the cosmetology industry, so all the barbershops, beauty salons, everybody within the cosmetology and barbering industry had to shut down. CB told me she received two checks from Frankfurt, but then the benefits stopped and she has no idea why. There's just there's just no reason for it, and neither there's people in more situations than me. Like Harvey Specter of Independence, who says the state likely owes him tens of thousands of dollars. I'm really behind on some bills, um, and it's been a struggle. After the coronavirus sidelined his business, Specter tried to file an unemployment claim but has so far been unsuccessful. He made it clear that Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir added insult to injury when he answered a question I asked him in early February. That's when Bashir said people could use an online portal to schedule an appointment to speak with an unemployment expert. But our investigation found that portal almost always has this message, no availability, please check back daily for new appointments. It's almost like a slap in the face. Making matters worse for both Spectre and CB are automated calls they receive from the state each night, letting them know their case files exist somewhere. My husband recognizes the phone number. My daughter recognizes the phone number. I don't even bother to answer it anymore. It's like, oh, we know you're here, but we're not going to return your calls. We're just going to use this system just to let you know we haven't forgot about you. When in fact, I think I've been lost somewhere in the system. I traveled to Louisville to track down Governor Bashir and ask him face to face when these victims will get their money. I, I wish I could tell them that, that they won't have to wait any longer, but as we work through it, I want to make sure I'm honest and, and transparent with them. If they're entitled to it, however long it takes us, we will get them uh, what they're out. And despite me pressing him, the governor still has no answer to the biggest question. What do you say to these folks? What is the system going to be fixed? Will they be made whole? Uh, well, our challenge that we're facing in the midst of a pandemic is that when times were good, uh, our state did not do its part to hold up and maintain our safety net. So what does the governor mean about not maintaining the safety net? Well, he tells me the technology dates back to the 70s for the state's unemployment system and has not been appropriately updated. Uh, Bashir also points to thousands of fraudulent claims slowing down the process for everybody. He says he's offering those examples for transparency, not as excuses, and says he will work on this problem until everyone in Kentucky is made whole. Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.